This is Lewis Bledsoe with MotorNet Express. I am at SEMA and uh, about to interview a couple of guys who have a motor that's going to change your world. I'm with uh, Matthew Riley and Nick Bennington of uh, Grail Engine Technologies. Where are you based, guys? Chapman, Kansas. Chapman, Kansas. Um, I've just seen a little tiny uh, a sample of your motor, a little tiny motor. Uh, give us an idea of what this thing's capable of. The engine that you saw is a 500cc. Can, since it hits every revolution, it'll produce what a normal one liter engine will do, or a thousand cc. Uh, its capabilities are approximately about 100 miles per gallon and 100 horse. All right, the 100 miles per gallon is when it's in full homogeneous mode. Polestar Plugs gives us the ability to do what's called forced semi-homogeneous quite efficiently. Uh, conventional plugs can't do what the Polestar plug does for us. And that's why we're working with Polestar very closely to achieve all our goals with the engine and forced semi-homogeneous ignition technology. Well, considering how unique the Polestar plugs are, weren't you guys in a... Weren't, weren't you guys in a bit of a panic before you found Polestar? Did you, did you really have a plan or was you just hoping that something would come along? There were several people attempting to do what the Polestar plug did, but uh, Polestar was, they have the patents in place, they own the rights to it, and it's the technology that's working best for us. We've adopted it to use it for our engine technology. You know, a lot of cars now, and certainly a lot years ago, did fine with 100 horsepower. So uh, th that's plenty of motor to pull a small car quite efficiently. Yes, it's designed to be an efficient product to assist people that don't have a lot of money. This is a much cheaper engine to build, cost effectively, than what a conventional four cylinder is that produces 100 horse. How much yeah. money per car would you save with this motor just in the manufacturing well, over, cost? Over 50% just on the engine part of it. That's pretty incredible. Well, mm -hmm. our, our single cylinder will do what the four cylinder one liter can do. Are you going to make some multi cylinder motors for more power and speed freaks like everybody that's here? Oh, definitely. Yes. 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 Uh, well, basically, we're our, our, two, our two cylinder engine is what the specs of Matthew just told you right now 200 horsepower, 180 foot pounds of torque, potential of having 100 miles per gallon. Uh, we could actually br bring that up to a three, four cylinder. Four cylinder would be comparable to your, your traditional eight cylinder internal combustion engine you have out there today. It's, it's pretty amazing to think what you can do with uh, a four cylinder, be a 400 horsepower motor that weighs how much? Two, about two hundred about, about a little over 200 pounds. <laughs> 200 pounds. Well, but weight makes a difference when you're racing. That's going to be fa fantastic. Yeah. Now, when do you guys anticipate actually getting this to the marketplace, I know it's a tremendous effort. You started from ground zero how long ago? Uh, roughly about uh, seven, eight months ago. Good. Seven, eight months ago from concept on piece of paper to what we have today, which is uh, a, a full mock-up uh, SLA of the engine. Uh, we're anticipating going into uh, detailed design and actually fabrication of the engine within the next 90 days. That is tremendously exciting. Can I come to Kansas and shoot some more video? Yes, you may. Okay. We'd be honored to have you there. Now how, now, how many spark plugs per cylinder or pulse plugs per cylinder do we use? We're using three plugs per cylinder because the rapid bloom, ignition bloom of the plug gives us the ability to force homogeneous ignition. Now, you're using a term I'm not familiar with. That sounds something like, like, like milk, but I know it's better than that. Does it mean every molecule in the, in the motor explodes at the same time? Well, not exactly, not forced semi. Homogeneous, or HCCI, means that everything ignites at once. Okay. Forced homogeneous, or forced semi-homogeneous, means that the ignition bloom is increasing rapidly enough to raise the compression in the chamber to ex detonate the remaining air and fuel simultaneously. So it's almost instantaneous. Close enough, you can't hear it. <laughs> it's very efficient. We're very close to proving all the technology that we're working on. Yes, we're very close. We've had an enormous amount of luck and quality work that has gone into this project. We have the dream team for engineering, uh, the dream team for legal department, and the dream team for the graphic arts department. We are very happy and pleased to be working with Polestar Plugs. Well, that's great. It's a great I, I love them too. I've been I've been using Polestars in my traditional vehicles for a long time, and uh, it's great to see great ideas and great people come together. So, best of luck as this thing develops. I Thank sure want one in, in one of my cars one of these days. It's a pleasure. Thank Thanks, you very guys. much. Thank you. Thank you.